Hey everybody, Paul here back with Chroma Squad. Or, well, yeah, it's still called Chroma Squad in our studio, isn't it? Yeah, um, so I didn't get any comments of anything to change here, so I'm going to leave it be for now. Um, maybe if I start getting more subscribers, they'll comment, and then at that point I'll change it. But for now, I'm going to leave it as is. And uh, so... I didn't, I haven't changed around the characters at all because I don't have enough money or materials to change some of their costume. But anyways, let's record. And we are going to be doing the Wilkin story. Let's start. I've been researching, and I think I know of a way to go viral and boost our audience. What is it, R5T401? Some of our episodes should be referencing the greatest heroes ever from other TV shows. Cool, we could record a special episode. Money isn't our best weapon. Don't worry, Claude, I've got something in mind. There will be a kidnapped girl, just like in the series that inspired us. And my sister will be this kidnapped girl. Wait, wait. Why are we not using your mail in need of being rescued? That's a valid point, and I shouldn't we do this with someone else? She is family, and she always wanted to be rescued in a hero TV show. Well, I think we could be careful so we don't fa fall into any sexist tropes. If the series that inspired us were like this, and if Lee's sister really wants to do it, what's the problem? Jet, we may not see our motivation as sexist or racist or things like that. But when people watch our shows, they see only what is on the screen. So it's our responsibility to change the way things are, instead of just reproducing the world as it is. I understand now. Fun things can all, uh, also change the world, right? And such a small change, too. My brother-in-law, Luciano Diaz, also wanted to be saved by us. So I guess my sister won't be disappointed after all. Okay, then. Let's move out, Chroma Squad. Teleporting! Come on, hostage! Come on, the hostage is still here. Oh, I'm terrible at reading. <laughs> we need to get him to the boss. Let's do this quickly. I think Chroma's God will be here soon. And here they are. Oops. Chroma Squad must fight through dangerous enemies to save a boy's life. Hurry, he's right there. We just jump over that fence with Team Acrobatics. Oh, actually, I'm sorry to interrupt the episode, Claude, but... What now, R5D401? Our uniforms are still at the laundry. We can't chromatize in this one. I hope our fans understand. Let's abuse, uh, let's abuse the use of our teamwork to make it more fun. All right, is everyone set? Let's do this. Hurry, he's right there. We need to set. Uh, why can't I use my martial arts skills to beat these monsters up? Luciano, what did I tell you earlier? You need to stay quiet. We don't even have a microphone on you. All right, all right. Impact phrase, and let's go. Three, two, one, action! Hurry, he's right there. We need to save him. Not if we first stop you first, Chroma Squad. So we have to reach the guy before defeating all enemies and reach the guy in three turns. And how we're going to do that is that... Then we can do this. We can do that. 
Um, let's have you attack him. Yay! Let's have you attack him. Yay! Ooh, and we got some Play-Doh! And then let's just have you move there. Teamwork. Oh! Yeah, counter him. So now what we're gonna do... This should work. Let's bring you here. Hopefully... No! I can't! That sucks! Oh well, we're still gonna be able to get him into the next turn. If I just, uh, move Lee over to here. And... Let's have you attack- oh, what? Um, let's bring you here. Teamwork. And then we can just defeat the Shell Shield. Easily. Don't hit me! Okay, whatever. I don't care about you guys. Yeah, nice counter. Wait, why didn't that work? Oh, okay. It did work, technically. Um, let's bring you there. Let's attack you. Let's have you attack these guys. And now I can't reach them. But I should be able to win next turn. And this is a really quick little uh, episode, so this is not going to be the only episode I'm going to do for this part. So, yeah! But we got some plastic, which I do need. Didn't this happen on Moon Vulcan 2? Only if we re had recorded at the North Pole, Lee. Ha ha! Psst! Spoilers! Yeah, that's the very last episode! Ha ha! Good one! I too bad we didn't have the Amazon girl to fight with. Good job, everyone, and thanks, Luciano Diaz. I bet you Luciano Diaz was like a, a backer. So we got put into the thing. And yes, we got some Play Doh. I need that. And we got s some monies. We got enough monies. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's check what our email says. Uh, hey, Susie, our neighbor asked me to send this email to you to over uh, to you, invite you over. Tomorrow is a big day, and we are celebrating. There will be cake and lots of soda for everyone in our street. I hope to see you there. I'm not Susie. OMG! It's an invite-only party. I'm afraid that you are not welcome. I did not- I didn't realize that I sent this to the wrong person. I'm so sorry. It won't ever happen again. Oh yeah, whatever. God, it's just- it's not like we're Chroma Squad or anything. Jeez. <laughs> okay, so first thing I want to do is craft another piece of plastic. And we are going to craft a bucket helmet. And we got plus 12 health and plus 6 skill regen. So I am going to put that on Claude for right now. Um, let's go back here. Let's craft some silver tape. A few silver tapes. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's get another bucket helmet. Ooh, plus 6 dodge. Who needs dodging? Well, they all have the same amount. But who needs health more right now? Uh, definitely jet. And we can make one more for now. Ooh, and plus 10 attack. Who needs attack? 74, 74, and 87. Actually, he needs it. So I'm gonna equip it onto him. Um, let's recycle. Recycle. Didn't get anything. It's okay. Let's... Maybe we can get three Play-Doh from this. No, we got one. Oh, well. That's fine. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna go to Actors. Equip. And we'll equip... Um... Who do we wanna equip?
equipped with this. He gets 215, 200, or uh, I guess we need to put it on her for 172. So there we go. So now these three look a little bit different than these two, but that's fine. That's fine. I'm all. I'm gonna get them all bucket helmets soon anyway. <laughs> so now we have two other uh, uh, episodes to choose from. We have Barrel and Roll, and we have uh, Fatty Alien. I'm gonna do Barrel and Roll though. So let's start this one. And this is probably gonna be the last one of uh, this part of the. Uh, maybe not. We'll see. Er, why are you wearing a barrel instead of your costume, Mister? I am a high value stock doctor, and your silly costumes are beneath me. Wait, what? We have a contract for this episode. So get back to that dressing room and wear whatever costume is in there. We'll even let you use the teleport effect as long as you're properly dressed. We'll move to the set and start recording while you change. Aye, aye. God, what a loser. Alright, let's move now. Yay, we're moving to the scene. Hopefully he changed. I doubt he did. Oh no, I gave it away. <laughs> I mean, it kind of showed that it wasn't going to change. Patience is a virtue, isn't it? A few moments later... Still not in a proper costume. We can't record like that, my friend. This is my costume. I'm the Barrel Man, and I'm going to roll all over you. Worst villain ever. Okay, that's enough. You're going to roll back where you came from. Just don't roll over us, boss. So we have to defeat the boss monster with the finishing move and attack the boss monster with lead three times. That's easy. Can we reach yet? No. So let's use uh, Jet to go here. Teamwork. Uh, let's have you go attack him. Yay, we got some tape. And now we can just do a normal attack on the barrel. Yay! And now we can just move everyone. Ooh, I can attack here. It's always nice when you can uh, attack other enemies so that there's less of them. Obviously, why wouldn't that be a good thing, right? I don't know. I am don't know what I'm talking about. Ow. Okay, let's use Jet again. Go there. Hey, Claude. Go there. And then we can have you attack there. Have you attack him. And have you attack him. Yeah! So I just need to get one more hit on this guy with Claude. Right? Yeah. One more hit. Yeah. No, I'm too far. Um, just leave you. Leave you. And go right here, I guess. And there. It's fine, because you know what? We have to do our final thing now. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to Claude. I'm going to go to Chromatize. So everyone comes to me and we Chromatize! Yeah! Um, so I'll bring Claude here. Uh, let's move you to there. Teamwork. Move you to there. Teamwork. Don't want to move Claude. Move you to there. Teamwork. 
and move deny to there and teamwork and then finishing move chroma finish woohoo yeah oh that was fun that was very fun yay woohoo now that's an explosion great input great input of course all I got was duct tape can't really use duct tape I don't need it I need plastic and other stuff Ugh. let's just read our emails real quick an old friend how are you doing my old friend we all know that I'm the only reason your new show is any good I know that our last moments weren't so great, and we were in a bad situation. Because of the ideas, you have stolen from me. Make them stick to the tail. You are a man of the tail. But, I see you in part. Or two, you pay me tributes for my ideas. Or three, I'll be your new director. I hope you understand that situation. Everything will be alright. Um, obviously... We are going to see you in court. I would advise you differently, but the worst vice is advice. Ah, uh, good luck to all of you. Liars have the devil's medicine. Then we have this. We have... What a forgetful uncle you have, R5D401. We haven't talked since the studio's opening. How are things at my warehouse? I hope you have all the space you need. I told Joe to go fix that leak in the bathroom next Friday. Oh, and make sure to feed that cute little cat that lives around the place. She was, has been there since I brought in the Cerebro device last summer. Probably snuck into the box or something like that. Cats are always nice to have around. I hope the little fellow inspires you to create things. Last but not least, greetings, representative of Pete Earlier Co. My name is Ronaldo Sampaio. I'm the manager at Mad Folks Marketing Agency, LLC. We loved your first episodes and we're willing to work for you, making your show reach more and more people around the world. This is how our agency works. You pay us a fixed weekly cost and we work converting the audience of your episodes into fans and income. You, we guarantee you a 15% increase in your audience on every episode. Do we have a deal? It's free for the first week. Uh, obviously. Why not? Glad to do business with you. I'm sure you'll love our services and will enjoy your new audience levels. Keep on recording. Yay, so now we have marketing. Yay! Um... So now we have different things we can use. Th that's why we have an audience meter. So I'm going to do plus 10 income conversion rate, which is really good. Uh, let's go over to crafting. Let's buy one of these real quick. Maybe we can get some more Play-Doh. How much Play-Doh do we have? We only have two, so we can't make any plastic. Oh, well. That sucks, but there's nothing we can do. Anyway, that's going to end it for this episode, you guys. Hope you guys had a fun time watching because I had a fun time playing. Please like, subscribe, comment, favorite this video. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. Anyway, see you next time, guys. Bye.